Hey everyone, welcome. It's 996 The Howl for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes. And I was planning on making this video about two months ago and then the trade happened with Martinook and the Coyotes acquired Marcus Kruger. And I thought that was a writing on the wall that Brad Richardson was going to depart the Arizona Coyotes. But once again, John Chaika being the monster he is, signs Brad Richardson for two years, $1.25 million. We, the Coyotes now have seven, seven centers on the team. I, it, I have no idea what this lineup is going to look like come October. The centers we have are Stepan, Cousins, Strom, Galchenyuk, Kruger, Richardson. That's six. Stepan, Galchenyuk, and Dvorak. I forget Dvorak. That's seven. Um, yeah, who's going to play the center positions? I, I have no idea. We can talk about that another time. But Brad Richardson, drafted by the Colorado Avalanche. Think about 2006, maybe 2005. He was in their system for six years. Never heard of him then. I mean, this guy's a veteran. This guy's been around the league for a long time. But I kind of didn't even know he was a hockey player until uh, he was on L.A. So after six years with the Colorado Avalanche, found his way onto the Los Angeles Kings, where he won a cup with the Kings, scoring an incredible one goal in 13 playoff games for the LA Kings. Obviously not a big part of it, but shut. he was a shutdown fourth line centerman. And uh, yeah, he's got his name on the cup. So he 100% deserves to be on there. A lot of people forget that he won the cup with LA, but of course the Yotes fans don't forget 2012. We hold on to it as hard as we could. And you tell everyone we meet that, hey, remember 2012? No, well... The world didn't end, but the Coyotes did make the conference finals. After LA, he found himself on Vancouver, where he produced very well in his first year there. And then in the second season in Vancouver, he had an ankle injury and missed half the season, which we're, we're all familiar with. So after he got injured, Vancouver decides not to sign him. And then he signs with the Coyotes and has a career year. He scored 11 goals, got 20 assists, had 54% face-off percentage, and he, yeah, career year with the Coyotes. Uh, I started to like him. This is where we all sort of found out who Brad Richardson was. <clears throat> Following season, he unfortunately breaks his leg and only plays 16 games. So that was a wash. And then last season... Um, just getting back to NHL speed, NHL games, it took him a while to get used to it. And obviously with a new coach, it was hard to get used to his new system as well. So just like the whole team, it took Richardson, you know, a couple months to really get his engine going. And then in January to April, just his line was on fire. Him, Cousins, and Martinuk just wrecking havoc. They would spend... So much time in the opponent's zone that it was ridiculous. There was times where I was just like, this is like a minute, minute, minute and a half of these three guys just doing the board play, going hard on the body, using their sticks well, chasing pucks, winning battles. And uh, that was great to see. And yeah, I was going to be sad that Richardson left because Martin Luke left. And that left the whole fourth line torn apart. But uh, Chaika decides to keep Richardson, and now we have Richardson, Cousins, and probably Kruger on the fourth line. So Kruger's more offensive than Martinuk, so maybe that line will actually score more goals. But uh, yeah, crazy that Chaika decides to sign him. It's very fortunate that Richardson wants to be in Arizona. He said he got offers from about seven or eight teams, but they're offering him one-year deals. And he really wanted to stay in Arizona, and he took a pay cut to stay here. And uh, he he even showed his human side during free agency. He said he was stressed, he wasn't sleeping well during the whole process, and he just wanted to get a deal done. 
So unfortunately, Chica, Chica made it happen. And we get Brad Richardson. He's a fourth line center. He has a career faceoff percentage of 52. So he could teach, you know, Galchenyuk, Strom, and Dvorak how to play center, how to win faceoff, be a veteran leader for them. So maybe that helps Strom's development and Galchenyuk's development at the center position. It gives us another veteran presence who's been with the team. You know, he's the only player out of three to be on this team for three consecutive seasons. I mean, that's the makeover John Chaika has done. Since 2015-2016, only Oliver ekman Larson, Big Kev Dog Kanaden, and Brad Richardson have played for each of those three seasons, 15, 16, 17, and coming into 18. So Richardson is one of our veteran guys who's been here for a really long time. So hopefully, you know, he's got two, two more years here, just passes the torch and develops our center, our centermen and makes us a deep center depth team. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah, Brad Richardson, great signing by Chaika. Out of nowhere, really, I was surprised. I was surprised he signed Brad Richardson, but it's all good news. More veterans, less call-ups, less waiver pickups. I don't even think there'll be a, a call-up this year. Maybe Kraus can make it out of camp, but there's just no room, which is an odd feeling given that the past three or four seasons, we've been so excited for our young guys to come out of the system. But this year, it, it just looks like Kraus. Maybe Merkley and Delphan, but there's no room. Only one of them can make it. So see, it's going to be very exciting. Don't know what's going to happen from now until September, but uh, John Shaika keeps you on your toes. So if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support.